Welcome to the new review guys, the new Max. I got this scooter maybe two months ago and I put somewhere around 220 miles on it so far. It's got plenty of brakes, unlike a lot of scooters in this price range. It's got get up too. It's new, best model, top of the line. And for a scooter without suspension, it doesn't get any better. This is a beautiful scooter. Rides amazing. If you watch my other new review, you know I had a couple small complaints about this scooter, but I think they fixed it. The stem is incredibly strong. I haven't had to tighten anything on this scooter. That's what makes me very happy about this scooter and very optimistic about new. I think that they built a scooter that's gonna hold up to heavy riding and aggressive riding with heavy riders. And that's probably why it's called the Max, because it's for the biggest people. Most range, most speed, most power, obviously. 450 watt motor, all that we'll talk about in a minute. But for now, I just want you to know it cruises nice. It has a lot of weight in the bottom, so the center of gravity is a little bit lower. And it feel, you feel it when you're riding. It just cruises over everything real nice. Cruise control kicks in nice. Brakes are powerful, yet smooth. Once you get used to them, they're real nice. Power is good getting through intersections and crosswalks. No kick to start. Gives you a lot of power right away. Almost enough power you can do wheelies on this, I'm sure. I don't really do that stuff with these scooters they sent me to test because if I break it, I'd, I would be looking like a fool if I broke the thing doing a wheelie. I like scooters where the back footrest angles up like this. It gives you a lot more control over the scooter for sure. It also feels better. It gives you less foot fatigue. No suspension, but you barely even hear it over bumps and stuff it's solid you get a lot of looks on this scooter because of the front halo headlight Let's see if I can get an angle where you can see it it's probably my favorite thing about news it's just a quality design they put on a lot of good components such as that halo headlight and it is it's a more premium feel when you ride this scooter it is a bit more quality build and with the power and stuff it's it's a nice ride I love these tires there is a bit of a hard time keeping them in stock for new, I know, but I think if you need them, they can send you some. You have the steepest hill in town I found. I measured it about 22 degrees. It's very steep. I actually rode a 350 watt scooter up there yesterday and it failed. It failed after about 10 feet. So we'll see if this new should make it a little farther than that, hopefully. The V-Set, obviously, a V-Set 11 crushes the hill. Goes up at about 25 miles an hour, no issues. I would estimate this makes it up at about 3 miles an hour or it stopped. Here's the hill. Ultra steep. Ultra steep. Steep as it gets. We're down to 8 miles an hour. We're actually, this is pretty good compared to... Five miles an hour, but we're still moving. We're still moving. We have enough torque to continue up this hill, which is actually really good. I rode this skip ab scooter up this hill and it literally stopped way down there after 10 feet. So we got a little bit more here. Still not impressive. Obviously a big, big hill. You need a dual motor scooter, but we're just gonna turn around. It's a big hill. Not bad on the hill test. This is a more moderate hill here. I'll show you guys. It'll hold decent speed. Even on lower battery, like we're on half battery about. Got some doggos up here, we're gonna have to slow down. Hello. Hi. Nice day for a doggo walk. Woo! Hello. Brakes on this are clutch. Nothing like having more brakes than you need. That was just all left-handed brake. I didn't even use the front brake. It says nice e-braking in it. That once you get good at it, it's nice. But when you're brand new, it is a bit tricky. I had somebody brand new ride this scooter. He's really never ridden scooters before, and he had some issues getting used to it. He did wreck couple times once because of uh, the e-brake he wasn't expecting it. it sort of kicked in when he pulled the brake quick and it threw him over the handlebars he didn't he didn't hit the ground he sort of ran it out but definitely something you need to look out for when you're if you're brand new if you get this scooter is learning with how the e-brake feels it is very strong and sensitive and sort of as you pull the brake 
it'll kick in about a second later so you got to expect that and that's fine that's how a lot of scooters are when you with the e-brake this is a little bit of a delay with it and you can even control it by pulling the brake a little bit like I just did and then no e-brake will engage you just use a little bit of disc brakes that way if you're just coasting to a stop right or you can obviously just coast but in general you like it there's a little bit of separation there where you can use the e-brake or both and the e-brake actually stops pretty quickly by itself just the rear e-brake use both let's see then you stop on a dime right so you got so much braking power with this scooter it's impressive to me it's one of the most impressive things about it is the braking so you can literally just come to a stop so quick so quick impressively quick scooter has a nice screen it has a built-in hook system right here where you could put a carabiner and carry things if you wanted it's also obviously the hook when you bring down and fold the scooter I can show you that real quick and fold that fold this down and you can see this hook clips in like this and you can carry the scooter very simple and easy hit this button right here it comes back up latches in fold this up you're good to go good to go solid scooter i like the build on this thing hasn't taken any tightening of the stem a lot of folding mechanisms here these days on lower end scooters take a lot of adjusting because they get loose and stuff not this it's been a quality scooter like i mentioned before news come with these awesome headlights halo headlights you can see it really well at night pretty decent during the day obviously it has a second headlight button feature for the high beams if you are actually riding at night but these are always on so that's a good safety feature it does help a little bit with being seen when you have a headlight on all the time excuse the dirt like i said i've ridden this maybe 200 miles and these tires are showing very little sign of wear i love these tires they're cst they are great the grip is there longevity is there the brand name is there good choice on the tire is new now up on the handlebars, these grips are good. You could obviously switch these out for better grips, and I almost would recommend that. Along with the whole bar itself, you could potentially put a new handlebar on this if you wanted something better, something with some curves, something more with better handling, which honestly I might do. If I'm gonna keep this scooter, I might upgrade it a little bit with the better handlebar. The bell is decent, <laughs> average bell. Not much to say about this. The brakes themselves, dual disc brakes, and these are powerful plenty of braking on these brakes there's also plenty of reflectors on this scooter as you can see here on each side in the front down on the wheels in the rear there's plenty of visibility features along with the tail light is honestly is amazing Let's see if i can show you there in the dark it's one of the best tail lights on any entry level scooter the dash itself is easy to read during the day even and at night plenty of information on it, everything you need with the speedometer battery and then the mode and the way this scooter works basically there's a custom mode you unlock on the app and then you can unlock it to 24 mile an hour and then there's no more settings on the screen it just stays on that mode when you turn it on it's in that mode it's nice so you don't have to sit there and push buttons to get going you just turn it on and you're already in the fastest mode so that is a bonus I like how they programmed it that way. A lot of scooters, when you turn them on, you then have to hit a couple buttons to get into the max mode, right? Whereas this one, it just remembers that you are in the custom unlocked mode and it opens up right to that. And there's nothing, nothing to do. So that's awesome how they've got that going. You just hop right on the scooter and go. The screen, the power, the user experience is all there. It's a quality build. And I think in general, there's a lot of people that this is all the scooter you need. There's obviously a lot more scooter you can buy, but as far as a beginner scooter with no frills, such as no suspension, this is as perfect as the design as I think it gets on the market right now. It has everything that you need in a scooter here. Now, one of my biggest complaints with new before was the mud guard, which was floppy and ended up breaking on people I know. This one is much more secure and I don't foresee it breaking and no loosening up. Now, the other thing about this scooter, I did take it apart. I'll show you some clips from that. I took it apart, I went all the way down down to where the battery is and the controller and the 
components look really nice. I'm not going to lie. There's a vest controller in this that really, it makes the, the throttle response very smooth and powerful. And so that's where most of the power I think is coming from this is A, from a vest controller and B, from good programming. But basically this scooter is very fun to ride because of the power it has. The plastic coverings are designed to dissipate heat. The battery itself is in its own custom built casing. The controller is firmly bolted to the deck. The wiring is immaculate with no excess wires. We can compare this to my 10X just to see what an average scooter looks like. There's a waterproof gasket around the edge of this lid. I unbolted the controller just to take a better look. This FOC controller pushes 20 amps multiplied by 54.6 volts at full charge means we're pushing 1092 watts with this scooter. Now as far as the frame itself, I love this type of tube design. It has a tube like this on each side and all the components are in the middle. And so it's very strong design in my opinion. There's a lot of other scooters that just use sort of weak leaf welded parts, sort of boxes that just weld together and I don't like those. This is a seamless, strong design. I know it's a bit dirty now, but obviously notice the red accents. These are special just to the new Max edition. They're on the rims of the tire, the brakes, obviously the brake lines, and on the deck even here. It's a great looking scooter and a great riding scooter. I don't think you can go wrong buying a new. If you're a bigger person, this scooter is perfect for you because I'm 180 and it handles me easily. So I imagine it can handle a 220, 230, 240 pound rider with no issues. It's plenty big and tall to handle a large range of, of people, I think. A lot of these scooters I review these days are so small, it seems like they're only for like kids or small adults. But this one's a bit different. It's got the better build quality so a lot of bigger people could ride it. It just cruises nice. It's a nice cruising scooter. Super nice. Overall guys, the scooter's a buy. I think it's on par with the VZ8 in quality and fun factor. Just comes down to if you want suspension between those two scooters. Those are my two best recommendations this year. If you want quality, if you want to spend a little bit more and get something better than a five, six hundred, seven hundred dollar scooter, spend eight, nine hundred, you can get something that is really, really smooth. This isn't quite as smooth as with suspension, but it's close just because of how the engineering of it is. It's nice, real smooth. They're having a 20% off Black Friday sale. I'm gonna drop the link in the comment with the code or whatever. Hope you guys check this one out on Black Friday. It's gonna be a good deal. 20% off, let's see, by my math, that's somewhere in the $700 range. That makes this very competitive scooter. Very competitive scooter. Comes down to it and the VZ8 for my top contenders for the year, for sure. Thanks for watching guys, Scooter Gang out.